Hello folks, this is J-Rock, my dog, and hold on, my dog's at the door. <coughs> um, I can talk to you about... About the um, Brussels, uh, tech, the terrorist attack happened in Brussels. I mean, one took place. I think one took place in a um, airport, and one took place in a subway. Um, from what I read, the um, one in the airport killed was killed. People, the bombing in the um, airport took place. Oh man, allergies. Huh. But sorry for that. Um, the terrorist attacks in Bell in Brussels. Okay, the one type of, the bombing happened in the airport killed um it killed around ten people from what I read. And um the one in the subway, eighteen was, was killed in the, in the um around eighteen was killed. People were killed in that um in the subway in Brussels, and we all know who the blame is, and we all know who's responsible for it. Muslim extremists, it has to be, because majority of terrorists, I would say about like ninety percent of terrorists, terrorist attacks have been done by Muslim extremists. Nine um, eleven was done by ter Islamic terrorists. Um, the the bombing had been in um a couple of years back. It wasn't was it was that it? I think it was in Boston. Islamic terrorist. Islamic extremist. Paris. Islamic extremist, okay? It's all done by Muslim extremists. And I don't care what you liberals say, I'm not Islamic phobic. It's, it's a fact, it's the truth. About ninety percentage of these terrorist attacks have been done by Muslim extremists. It's a fact. It is the truth. Okay. And this, again, what happened in Brussels is proof that you we need stricter immigration laws. This proves that you don't need proofs that in the United States you don't just set whoever in the United States. Okay, and that's and I and I agree with Donald Trump on this that. That Trump, okay, like Donald Trump. Donald Trump says didn't say he's gonna ban all Muslims. He says he doesn't want any Muslim streamers in the country. He don't want want any radical Muslims coming into this country, threatening to bomb bomb us. He's actually known to look at the safety of of the American people. And I agree on that one. You don't need to let anybody in. That's why I kind of find it also, you know, and I want to, and I heard that some people are blaming guns. Uh, one of my friends shared a link on, <clears throat> shared a link on Facebook about, about some, some reporter on, uh, some one of the liberal front left stations, um, MS, NBC, I think that's, that's what it is, um, so they're blaming guns and guns to blame. No, guns and to blame. The real perpetrators are Islamic terrorists. Okay. Because, why? Because 90% of terrorist attacks have been done by Muslim extremists. Okay. You had to look at the facts and quit basing everything off emotions. And people who jumped on this gun bandwagon Blaming guns on this, this terrorist attack, don't know think themselves. They just want to jump on the bandwagon. They're thinking out of emotions. They need to stop. Actually, read about the article. Read about, read the article. Look at the facts and stop basing things off of emotions. Because blaming guns, that's just idiotic. It was not guns. It was a bombing. So there's no guns involved. And there was guns involved. It's none of the guns' fault. Is the Muslim terror extremist, extremist fault who bombed Brussels? 
And that's all I gotta say. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to ring the subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.